center of Holy City is a place of transformation where many unbearable situations are present, expecting a touch of the Holy Spirit for total restoration and deliverance, all in the name of Jesus Christ. And among them is this loving mother called Christine. She is so desperate for the healing of her son Derek, who has succumbed to a disease of mental illness called schizophrenia. This disease caused him to see illusions, and as a result, this young man burnt himself, thinking that he was seeing worms around his body. I'm Christine Kumakeja. I'm from Kasangati. I brought my son. He's not well. He's having demoning attack. Man of God, pray for my son. Deliver him from this demon spirit. This thing started in 2000. I'm holding him because he's, he wants want to run away. Man of God, this gentleman is from Cero Healthcare and he's called Odoch Derrick. He's from this hospital and doctors have diagnosed him of having delusions and hallucinations. These are abnormal beliefs and seeing things which are strange are happened by abnormal behavior. And here the doctors, the final conclusion, they say he has schizophrenia. This is a mental disorder case whereby they had also to give him some drugs and this is these are types of drugs that were managing him to calm him because he was aggressive, he was over talkative, he could not be in the same place, he was moving around the whole, the whole place and they are here to receive a touch of heaven and indeed as I see him he requires prayers. So I'm asking Jesus to forgive my sin, to forgive even him, to forgive me and my family I don't want to see him like this. I'm tired of this situation. I'm tired. I don't want to see him like this. God, God delivered him, deliver him. Brother Ronnie, pray for him. Man of God, pray for him. The Peace Center is a special place where the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ, moves mightily, restoring peace where it was once lost. All these people are sick and they have anomalies that have defeated human understanding and also medical personnel. Their condition needs the supernatural intervention of the Holy Spirit through the prayer that is made by the Anointed One of God, Brother Ronnie Maccabi. Stay to remember here at the Peace Center of Holy City, where many gather to receive the anointing that will transform their lives forever. They are here with great expectation that their lives will never remain the same. The servant of God, Brother Ronnie Makbai, ministers to the sick with great compassion, and many are touched with the power of the Holy Spirit for their healing and deliverance, all in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the moment for Derek, a moment of healing and deliverance.
here the servant of God, Brother Ronnie Macbay, prays for Derek to receive his healing and deliverance, all in the name of Jesus Christ. Released in Jesus' name. Instantly after prayers, Derek is healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Witness an instant change after the prayers of the servant of God, Brother Ronnie Macbay. I'm a police officer attached to counter-terrorism police headquarters. Uh, the boy has been sick for some healing, he has been having some illness. But as I talk right now, I'm talking to him, I'm conversing with him. He's saying he's well okay. Derek, how are you feeling now? I'm okay. He's replying to me that he's very okay. Actually, when I went to pick him from my home where they reside in Kasangati, I got when they were just holding him. So to come in, I went and remove him from inside. I put him in our car. I brought him this side. Even when I was seated outside there, I was still holding him. But right now, as right now as I talk, I'm seeing he's just standing freely. My name me holding him. After brother Owen praying for him, the boy is free now. I'm Dutch Derek. I come from Kasangati. When I was regaining my senses, the first person I saw was brother Ronnie praying for me. I give the glory and honor back to Jesus. Yesterday when I reached to the hospital, what they told me, you take, you take, you take him to Mutabika. Then I said, Mutabika, I have a doctor. Nguweya, I said, Holy City. I know, I have a doctor there. Then I decided in the morning, come. I brought, I brought him here. I'm really happy, very happy, so excited. I don't even know now what to say. Uh, the message I, I sent to the public that it is real, Pastor Brother Ronnie is real. It is real what I've seen with my eye. So those who are not just still outside there, others are going for witchcraft. You better come to the, the city city church. They, they, they set you free. A few days after being prayed for, Derek Odoch comes back with his mother, thankful for the wonderful work of Jesus Christ, who granted him an immediate miracle. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I love my God. I seek my God. I seek my God. I love my God. I'm by the name of Dutch Derek. So Dutch Derek, I come from Kasangati. Okuve Kasangati. I, I, I was mentally sick. Na ino buta tebe nke rambuongo. When I came here, I didn't even know, like the condition, how it was. Na ino geri jebande tamu ku Holy City sama nyana buyari. I didn't know what was like going on on my mind. Mubuongo wange na disi mani na chigenda mu maso. It started slowly, slowly. Yata ndi kampola mpola. I dreamt, it started when I dreamt that they were attacking me where, where by some ants could touch me at night when I'm sleeping and I could not even see their faces. I could feel so weak in my body and then later on from then I could like at night when I'm walking, I could like see someone looking at me and I was fear in And then that thing started like developing from that instant and then a lot of fear came into me. So I couldn't like realize what I would do or what I was going to do, like I was totally confused. Then from there, I started developing like some spiritual attack. It's like a mental illness. It reached a moment whereby at night I could see worms on my body. Then I poured hot water on my body. That's why right I saw the worms. So I was like mentally becoming disturbed. Mm. And then like 
I could some, something like suicidal could come on my mind. I would, like, I would think of dying only. And then I was like going into another world, not like in the reality. But I praise my God right now. Because for the Almighty has remembered me. And now I'm mentally okay. I praise my Jesus and I love him. Forever, ever. Amen. I love my God. I seek my God. I seek my God. I love my God. Charge, Rev. Let me tell you people. It was not easy for me. As, let me say, being a mother. I'm Christine Komakech. Is that Christine Komakech? I came from Kasangati. Kasangati. Beside me is my son Derek Odoch. I came here from Kasangati in 2004. I came here for prayers. It was last week. Last, last week, Sunday. Last Sunday. And really, I could not even able to bring him alone. And I call my 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 brother to come and help me. Madame Christine, where did you try to get help for your son? From a clinic near us. It is called. It's called what? Wakenda komo duari deri mu. Near us in Kasangati there. Umpi ne has e Kasangati. As for the doctor, the diagnosis. Having schizophrenia. Schizophrenia, this is a major mental disorder. Over, over it is a schizophrenia. Nazula. This is a mental disorder that is characterized by abnormal thinking. Abnormal behaviors. Where that this person has abnormal voices and is compelled to act as father the voices are telling him so medically this type of mental disorder it has no cure but we put this person on medication for life they told me to take this boy to Mulago. Uh, uh, they told me to take this boy to Mulago. Then I decided to bring him here. Then I decided to bring him here. Yes. Reaching here. Yes. Uh, I was the one who were inside the peace center. They know what happened. I was really... Those people, they help me. I thank really God of Brother Ronnie. He was the one who helped me. I really thank Brother Ronnie. I don't know. Brother Ronnie, I can't even cry, but I'm not, I'm not sad. It's a tear of joy. Really, I'm very happy. My son refused even to go to school. He stopped in senior four. Because of that illness. So really, if you have a son or a daughter at home, don't give up. Don't give up. I wanted even to give up. Because even if I, I buy a trouser like this, I buy what? It will just sell. And drink with the alcohol. I don't know. It is now my God. God of Brother Ronnie. Yes. 
Glory and honor back to Jesus. He is now okay. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ, somebody. Jesus healed the toy completely. And and this one, he was burning himself with the hot water. That, uh, mommy, I'm feeling there's cricket in me. There's cricket. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Ronnie. Where are you? Thank you. Thank you for praying for my son. Thank you, really. Glory and honor back to Jesus. It is through Brother Ronnie who prayed for my son. My son is now okay. I know he will go back to school. That is what I know. Thank you, Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, you can imagine the pain of Christine, the mother, who endured the torture every moment. She endured the torture of her son. Because the son had dropped out of school. The son was an alcoholic. The son could get attacks anyhow. He reached a point of burning himself like your sin. He burnt himself. It was such a painful condition for the mother to endure. So when she was told to go to Mulago Hospital, she knew that there's only one doctor who can heal the son. And when the fireman prayed for Odochi, Although she got healed instantly. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Jesus Christ. For this wonderful miracle that he has done in the life of this family. He is full of thanksgiving and every day of his life is a celebration of God's might in his life. Na wana mitawana, wewa wangula.